I recently received the AnaQB Cobra S1 filament printer and the really interesting thing about this printer is the ACE Pro, which stands for AnaQB Color Engine and allows multicolor printing. So let's unpack the printer and the unit and see what it can do. The ACE Pro is safely packed in the printer case. I only have to loosen two screws and I can take the ACE Pro out of the printer. The preparations are super easy. All I have to do is screw the anti-blocking module onto the back of the printer, plug the cable into the printer, then plug the filament tube into the anti-blocking module, connect the ACE Pro unit to the printer with a cable, and then plug the four filament tubes into the back of the ACE Pro and into the blocking module. And please don't forget to put the blue clips back on the tubes of the ACE Pro to prevent them from slipping. And this is what the back of the printer should look like after the assembly. Now I just have to put the bag with the activated carbon into the slot of the back of the printer and the printer is ready to run. The printer is loading and after some seconds you can select your language and your region and you can enter your wireless key. Now you have to put the USB stick into the slot on the right side of the printer and the printer starts the self-check, the auto bed leveling and also the input shaping. That takes some minutes and sounds a bit weird, but when all the self-checks are done, you are ready for your first print. Pro is super cool because it feeds the filament automatically to the anti-blocking module. The only thing you have to do is put in the roll and put the filament into the red hole on top of the ACE Pro. Connect the USB stick with your computer and now you can install the AnyCubic slicer next. Maybe you have to do it twice because of an update and you will enter in a checkbox of the customer experience improvement program. I'll skip this step and end it in a box where I can select the printer. If you want to install only the Cobra S1, click on clear all, select the Cobra S1 and then you can select all filaments, click OK and you are in the AnyCubic slicer next. Now you have to add the printer to the slicer, so click in the upper menu on workbench and in the left menu on add printer and now we run into a little trouble because none of the two options works at first time because we have to do some settings on the printer first. The first way is to connect the printer with the wireless LAN. So click on the printer display on the gear wheel and then on LAN mode and activate LAN mode. And now you get an IP address and that's exactly what we need. Click in the slicer menu on connect IP, enter the IP address of the printer and the printer should connect through your wireless with the AnyCubic slicer next. Now click in the upper left corner on LAN printer and here should be the AnyCubic Cobra S1 we have connected. And we can also activate the camera. Click on the play icon, it takes some seconds and the camera should be activated. Here we have it. And in the management folder you can see also the ACE Pro 1 which is connected to the printer and here the two filament rows are loaded in the ACE Pro. And when you want to change the filament, just click on the pencil underneath. First on the filament, then on the pencil and here you can change the filament if you like and also the color underneath. I'll leave it as it is because I loaded white filament and same for the black one. Click on the filament on the pencil and you can change it if you like. I mounted only two rolls so the other two are not mounted as shown and now we are in theory ready for the first print but I'd like to show you also the next connection the cloud connection because as you can see in the left corner there is no cloud printer connected and that's what I like to show you now. At first we have to deactivate the LAN mode on the printer, same way we have to activate it and then you have to click on device on the print menu, click on CN code and here you can find the CN code and that's what we need for the next step. 
Now click again in the workbench on Add Printer. Click on Connect by CN Code and here you can add the CN Code of your printer. Click on Connect and now we should have a cloud printer. And now let's do your first multicolor print. In the upper left corner there's the Prepare button. Click on Prepare and in this upper menu you can insert a file. Click on the cube on Add. And I will use my Martin Gray plug because that's perfect for a multicolor print. It's an SDL file. You can use every SDL you like, of course. And as you can see, it's totally white. That's not what I like. I like to do a two color print. The font in white and the plug itself in black. And here on this menu, there's the color painting or press N on the keyboard. So you change to the color painting. And here you have the filaments you loaded in the ACE. And now click on the second filament, the black, that's what we need. And here you have different pencils, a circle, a sphere, triangle, and that's what I like. That's the height range. Click on the height range because that's super easy for my plug. And let me show you how easy I can change the color. I'll click on the plug. I use my mouse and bam, now I have a two colored SDL file and that's exactly what I need. Nothing more to do. Now I can click in the upper right corner on slice plate. And that's nearly all I have to do. Super simple. It takes seconds. And now I click in the upper right corner on remote print and I can send my print file to the printer. I had some trouble with the print bed adhesion as you can see and it's caused by a wrong C offset. We have to adjust the C offset first. That's super simple. Change again to the slicer. Click on prepare and in the upper left corner you can find the Anycubic Cobra preset with the 0.4 nozzle. And as you can see my one is still a copy because I did some changes. Click on the pen on the right side and in the basic information you can find the C offset. And as you can see, my one is minus 0.3. By default, it's zero. And I recommend to change it to minus 0.3 or 0.4. And that should adjust the C offset and should solve the issue with the print bed adhesion. So would I recommend the Anycubic Cobra S1? Yes, of course, because it comes with superior features like the quick release for the hot end and the nozzle. It's super easy to change the hot end with only one click or to service the nozzle if needed. And the S1 comes with the Anycubic Ace Pro, the Anycubic color engine, which worked flawless for me. And changing the filaments is a matter of seconds. Just take out a roll of filament and replace it against another one. Nothing more to do. And it comes also with additional features like a dryer. Set up the temperature and activate the dryer. And the ACE dries the filament during the printing process. And it has also a backup feature. That means load the ACE Pro with four rolls of the same filament. Activate the backup feature and when the first roll is empty, the ACE will load the second, third and fourth roll of filament and you will never run out of filament when doing big prints and as you have seen it's super easy to start for a beginner with multicolor printing it took me seconds to set up the data for a multicolor print like my patch and it took me maybe 20 minutes to set up the printer right out of the box the only thing I had to do is I had to adjust the C offset as seen for a good print bed adhesion and that's all I hope this video helps you to decide if that printer is one for you. And if you like, use my affiliate link underneath the video in the video description. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching the video. See you in another one. Goodbye.